uh, I'm going to show you the demo of another uh, Spring Boot application and it is laundry management or dry cleaning uh, service booking system. So here um, it's following the MPC architecture and uh, it's a Spring Boot application so to the manage the backends using a Spring Boot and here's the configuration classes, controllers, DAOs, DTOs, exception, form, services and utilities and after that for the front end it's using JSP and uh, HTML, CSS, the basic things, HTML, CSS and bootstrap over there so all the GSPs are available there application is deployed over the Tomcat server so I'm going to run this application and let's see features uh, like uh, uh, what are the features and functionalities of here so I to run it, just this is your application file go right click here go to run is run it as a java application and to manage the backend meanwhile the server is going to start i will show you the backend thing so it's using the mysql database to manage the backend and these are the tables so here's the user table it contains the existing records so username and password is available here under the mysql okay so uh, if you can see the console here in the console we have the tomcat as a starting on 9090 port number which is the port number and the context path is this so also in the application property we have mentioned the context path here in order to run it just open your browser and go to localhost enter the specific port number and that is running on 9090 and just enter the context path the application will launch uh, over your browser and this will be your welcome screen here okay it's taking some time okay now it's launched so this is your welcome screen and here in the welcome screen we have two options like registration and login so user can registration over the register over there or user can perform the login so if they are uh, the existing user or new user user can register so let's uh, do some registration i just enter the dummy data here and if you can see there are number of records are three into the user table so when i submit this i just need to enter a valid contact number here first and first name last name the password is okay here i need to enter a valid email number so it's using such kind of validation so make sure while you're entering the data enter the valid data and the city so let's enter some test data register like user then is registered successfully that's showing that the username as well and now if you see the fourth record is inserted into the database as a user so there are two types of user admin and the user admin means the service provider so one by one will log in by them and we'll see what user can do and what other user uh, what the admin can do and what other user can do over there so i just enter the email and enter the password and when I hit the login button, it will launch and re redirect me over the welcome page. So here as an admin, I can see the view users. So whatever the registered users are available into the database will display here. Also, I can search the, search the users by the city name or search user by the first name like this. Okay, so these are the availabilities for the admin, for the users. Under that, after that, we have a service provider so i can register any service provider if is there any service provider so let's suppose as an admin i want to add a service provider so i just enter in the dummy data here again and let's suppose the data is coming for the mobile location and okay new tackling store right state Maharashtra, I guess. So, and the city and dress code, the cost of per piece of the clothes. So let's suppose I'm just going to add 50 rupees and contact number of the service provider. So I'm going to just add 10 digit number here and the opening time and the closing time you can mention here and <clears throat> just address and just save it the service provider will display now in this list also the admin can do like admin can check the list of service providers and so admin can like search here uh, for the service providers list by the service provider name so if i'm going to enter this here is admin can search and filter out the data also we can filter the data according to the city also here like this 
also if admin wants to edit the record admin can edit the record like this let's suppose i need to update the price as a 40 rupees so i can just edit and save the things and it's updated as a 40 also i can delete this record so i just need to make a check here and click on the delete button the data will be deleted automatically also admin can observe the booking list so what are the current status of the booking and what which is the service provider so admin can um, also search here booking by pickup date and pickup so admin can manage all the service providers and the users as a customers also other options some common option like change password my profile and love out now let's log in as a customer and see what a customer can do so recently we have registered as a new customer here so this is the genia as a new customer and this is the login id for this customer and this is the password so i'm going to register with this detail this credential and after that what option i can see i can check all the available service provider in my location let's suppose uh, like this is the location of the user so if you go here and search the city here for this user that is a ex okay so the record is only showing for the ex location here like if you search for the ex location the record will be not display like currently it's by default the location is showing here but when i select and search for any city let's suppose i'm going to select for the mumbai so it will display data for the mumbai if i select for the pune so it will display data for the pune and by default it will display the complete data okay uh, data of the complete um, like all the all the service provider will display here also uh, we can search a service provider by its name so let's suppose i'm going to search by this so i need to remove the location and it will display like this another thing how a user can book so let's suppose i want i can check the detail here let's suppose in the mumbai city the location abc the per cloth uh, like price for per cloth was 12 rupees and the opening and closing um, time is that when i click on the request so i can add my pickup time like uh, enter pickup time and enter the drop time and drop date so let's suppose i'm going to enter some dummy data over there And like pick up from the location so under the location they suppose uh, some xyz uh, colony or city and the date here and number of clothes so i'm just entering number of clothes like 20 books ideally i need to pay the amount so the amount 20 is multiplied by 20 or 12 then the total amount is 240 and i need to enter my card details and expiry dates so let's suppose 08 and 2025 and cvv number some valid three digit number and the total amount is automatically calculated here and this is here when i click on the pay the booking has paid successfully now now if you see the booking history it will display like the booking is requested it's not approved yet because admin is not accepted it so admin need to accept it so i am going to log in this user as an admin as well so i am just going to open a new window and here in this window i will log in as an admin and will approve the request that is coming from the customer for the laundry booking so i just enter the username password for the admin and if i see here into the booking list the new request is come from the genia user and which is number of cloth is 20 and all the details so i can click on this to confirm the booking i just need to check it and click on the confirm so booking is accepted now if i move to my user account again here and i refresh the mail it's the booking is accepted and some common option change password my profile about so that's it like uh, this is a uh, like service provider kind of application where uh, admin can add the multiple service providers and user can request them to for their services for their laundries and customer can book and uh, like customer can pay over there and in case you need the source code you can contact us over the whatsapp over the mail and uh, you will check the link in the description you will get complete detail of the application pricing and we have multiple services like if you need the configuration at your machine so we have the remote support 
So a team will connect with you remotely and will do the setup entirely like this. And after that, you just need to run and follow this demo. Also, if you need any kind of explanation related to the code, we have multiple services. So just connect and uh, connect to the support and ask for the services. They will share all the details with you. And if you are looking for this project, this is uh, like you can connect there. Thank you.